What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at a super easy way to get the Komodo Linear Fusion Rifle. This is the ritual weapon for the Crucible this season, in the Season of Dawn. So if you want some hints and tips then this is the video for you. Now if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. So first things first, what is the Komodo 4FR? So this is the legendary linear fusion rifle available from Lord Shax this season. As you can see it comes with no distractions, moving target, eye of the storm and box breathing. It also has a charge masterwork as well to reduce the charge time on this particular weapon. Now in order to get this weapon you first need to collect the bounty from Lord Shax over in the tower. Now this quest is called Heart of the Dragon, Fire Breather. And to complete this quest, you need to complete three objectives. So you need 125 final blows with linear fusion rifles, as well as 15 precision final blows with the same weapons. And the final stage is to get the glory rank heroic, which you can get from the competitive playlist. Now to kick this off, we're gonna first jump into our collections and get the Arbalist, which is an exotic linear fusion rifle. If we have a look at this particular weapon then, this goes in the kinetic slot and it has the compounding force as the exotic perk which fires slugs that cause massive damage to enemy shields and it also comes with disruption break which isn't going to be that useful but the fact that it's a kinetic linear fusion rifle means we can easily go after these kills without having to worry too much about ammo and as you can see I've paired this with a linear fusion rifle in my heavy slot. I've already got the Komodo here as you can see but you can also use things like the Man of War and the Crooked Fane if you've got a really good roll on it. Before we look at our armor, let's have a look at the artifact this season because as you can see it has enhanced unflinching rifle aim which greatly reduces flinching from incoming fire while aiming with any rifle class weapon. As well as this we also have enhanced linear fusion rifle aiming which greatly improves target acquisition, accuracy and aiming down sight speed for linear fusion rifles and this is going to be super effective with Arbalist and help increase the size of that hitbox when you're going for those final blows. So now we've got these seasonal mods, let's take a look at our armor. So let's take a look at the helmet to start with. So we'll apply the seasonal mod here, which gives us the enhanced targeting as well as fusion rifle ammo finder. On the gauntlets, we have linear fusion rifle loader, which increases the reload speed of all linear fusion rifles, as well as momentum transfer. But that's a personal preference and you can put any other mod on these gauntlets if you wish. If we take a look at the chest piece, as you can see, we have linear fusion rifle reserves, which increases the amount of ammo that you can carry. And I've double stacked these just to make sure that if there is any green in the crucible, that I can pick that up and use it to great effect. And finally for our boots we have rifle dexterity which gives us faster ready and stow speeds for all rifle class weapons and that also applies to linear fusion rifles as well. So with all these mods together and the arbalist in our main kinetic slot we are pretty much good to go for this particular quest. So as we know this particular quest needs to be done in crucible classic mix was where i spent most of my time as that's connection based and isn't skill matchmaking and it can be a bit fun and a bit more casual than the other playlists another thing that may be available at some point is momentum control and that'd be super useful for your final blows but once you've got all your precision kills and your final blows you're going to need to hop into survival which is the competitive playlist you can use the freelance version if you don't have a fire team but this is the mode you'll need to enter in order to get your heroic glory rank and finish this bounty so once you're in crucible itself you will need to approach this quite passively stick into the back of lanes and trying to scope in at head height wherever you can the charge time on the arbalist is relatively short so you can get a good couple of double kills as you do always spawn in with two bullets in your magazine as a minimum also remember that all the prep work that we've done with the armor and the mods will be helping you here and increasing the size of that hitbox to making those final blows slightly easier and if momentum control is available then that won't be too much of an issue as you probably will be able to body shot one shot people fairly easily but if you keep playing through and eventually you'll get enough glory to earn that heroic rank and as you can see you will complete the bounty and at this point you're ready to return to lord shax and he'll have the weapon waiting for you there so there we have it guys that is how you can get your hands on this season's ritual linear fusion rifle from season of dawn season nine as always i hope you found the hints and tips useful if you have be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new around here want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon